Hi there, Lauren Poindexter here with TriPoint Homes. I want to show you my two-story burden plan. It starts at 2,976 square feet, but it actually has room to grow. It comes as a four-bedroom, three-bath with a flex space, two-car garage. Let's take a look at okay, this. Okay, so this is the burden floor plan. I love this one. Uh, this would probably be my pick of the litter but um this one has some upgrades so we're going to walk through it here now de again depending on the neighborhood the eight foot door could either be an option or it could be a standard this here is the eight foot door and then you walk in and you just get the wow factor immediately with the double height ceilings 24 feet just super tall super spacious and then the eight foot interior doors come standard on this floor plan so again just raising the the heights making it feel really open and so you have a front bedroom right off the entryway and it's kind of like a tucked away suite with its own bathroom and then you have a linen closet there Now this, this area here would come as a flex. Here what we did was we added study doors, but usually it would come open. So you could use it as a formal dining, you could use it as, a, it's called a flex area because you could use it how you want. But adding the double glass doors here, um, I don't see if you can see it, is an, is an option for this floor plan. And then you come here into the living room and get taken that height here. And then the electric fireplace is also an add-on, but I love how the fireplace niche goes all the way up to the ceiling. So when you add it on, you get this feature that goes all the way up, creating a little bit more dimension. Another option you'll see here, this is a three panel sliding door. Uh, that's an option. Usually what it would come with would be three windows that kind of correlate to the three windows at the top. Still great light, but just in case you kind of wanted that indoor outdoor feel, you could do that. Now, the built-in is an option. Uh, built-in appliances that you see here are an option. The, it would usually come with a slide-in stove that would be cabinetry with a microwave above, but you can always add that. Another question I get is about this built-in fridge niche here. That's a standard. That's a great standard. Capitalizing on the cabinetry, but also like really elevating the space with the built-in here. It's just so many details in this house that I really like. And then you got a good size pantry there. You have a dining area here. And then your standard access to the patio would be off of the dining area here in case you didn't want to do the sliding doors here. So here, let's go to the owner's suite here. I love the ceiling detail here, how it creates this dimension here. So that's standard in this floor plan. The window height is standard here. And then this is, would be called a luxury bath. Here you're gonna have your water closet here. This tub where it's subset here, that's an option where half of the tub is below the subflooring and then the other half sits above it. And then you have the mud set shower floor. Usually what would come is just like, it would be a shower standard with a fiberglass plan, but the luxury uh, bath is an option. And then you have double sinks here, and this is pretty standard. And then you have plenty of linen space because so, you know, you, you walk into some models, they don't have a linen closet and you know, so then this is the closet here. It is good space here. 
and then one of the things that I do like about this one is off of the closet you enter into the laundry area so you don't have to you know take your clothes out of the closet and bring it to the laundry it's just right here if you need to throw something quickly and then that would be your entry into the garage and then here you kind of have this uh, neat nook here on, that sits under the stairs and that can be you know a kind of a mud area or a drop off or when you're coming from the garage i also forgot to mention and then you come through like this but i also for, forgot to mention that the stairs the curve of the stairs is an option usually it would come uh more rectangular here so that curve is an option and then the open railing on the second floor that usually that would be a pony wall so that's an option too but let me take you upstairs okay, i'm at the top of the stairs as mentioned these would come as a solid half wall or a pony wall and this is the view from above you're going to have two bedrooms upstairs that are standard here so you have a good size bedroom here with a walk-in closet you have a shared bathroom usually a one sink option here and then you have another good size bedroom this is a good game room area and you can also add you can add both a media room and a fifth bedroom to this floor plan and it also depends on the neighborhood but here you have a media room add-on usually it would stop right here and then you could add a fifth bedroom and a bath to this floor plan as well so let me take you outside so you can see the patio area okay so this is the standard patio um for the verdant floor plan so that is my verdant